We're talking reels today. Not just any reels, we're talking about the flagship model of the Savage Gear range, the Stealth Series. Now we're gonna do something a bit different, we're gonna do an unboxing so you guys can see the whole process from start to finish. Now from the outset, you can see for a <clears throat> reel in the $200 range, it's, uh, it looks the part. Packaging is pretty damn nice. Um, one of the cool features I like, on the back it's got all the specs you need to know. So all the important information. So from the outset, without even opening the box, we know it's got eight ball bearings. We know it's got a gear ratio of 5.8 to 1. We know it's got a maximum drag of 7 kilos, which is a fair bit for a reel of a 4,000 size. Okay, so we've got a top little sleeve here that slides off underneath. Again, it looks pretty good. I'll give them that much. They've done a great job on the packaging. Nice little card. Congratulations on your new Savage Gear purchase. Enjoy and let us know what you think. Nice little touch. Here's our bad boy. So we've got the reel and got the handle in there as well. So handle comes detached, so get that in there. Put it in, depending if you fish right or left-handed. Personally, I fish left-handed, but I know a large percentage of the population fish right-handed, so we'll chuck it in there. And it's just a screw fitting, so just wind it in, keep it steady, give it a little tighten, good to go. That's in there, so also in the box here, we've got a nice neoprene cover. Um, great for storage and traveling. You wrap your reel up in that, it's not gonna get scratched, not gonna get bumped. Uh, we've got this packet here, aha. Now I'll explain this a little later. It's a little trap for young players that uh, if you don't know what they're for, you may run into some strife. We've got our warranty and care instructions. We probably don't need them just now. And we've got, what's this? We've got our schematics, so our exploded view. So if ever we need to replace parts, we know which one we're talking about. So from the outset, you can feel it's, it's quite a smooth reel. For 200 bucks, it's a, it's a really nice feeling reel. Um, it looks great as well. So you've got all the, the anodizing on the spool, nice bit of gold fleck there. The gun metal silver on the uh, on the body. It's actually quite a sharp looking reel. Um, you wouldn't be displeased having that on your rod, that's for sure. Now, it's got that 5.8 to 1 ratio, so it's probably not a super high speed spinning reel. So for tuna and that sort of thing, yes, you can do it, but you're going to have to be motoring. Um, but for all other styles of fishing, so your soft plastics, your luring, even a bit of bait fishing, this guy's going to be perfect. Um, nice EVA handle, so even with slippery slimy hands it's going to be easy to grip um, nice and comfortable too reel seat it's not too uncomfortable between the fingers there so it's going to sit nicely while you're casting if you're doing a fair bit of that seven kilos on the drag like we said before so that's a fair bit of grunt um, people got like to go for ridiculous drag ratings these days when you just don't need it so seven kilos of drag unless you've got a rod that can deadlift seven kilos you're never actually going to need all that seven kilos it's good to have in the bank but um yeah, you, I'd be very surprised if you're actually going to use all of that, especially from a 4,000 setup. Now, these guys here. Now, the trick with them is, if you're spooling your reel, once you spool it up, if you notice it's actually chamfered to one edge, it's either top heavy or bottom heavy, what that actually means is you need to add or take away one of the washers on the spool shaft. So, twist that drag knob there. That controls your drag pressure. If you screw it right off, be able to take the spool off and you'll see right in there there's a nylon washer right sitting on top so you can add or subtract them depending on which way you want to go so obviously if you add one that line layer is going to come down a bit if you subtract one it's going to go a bit higher all right we'll chuck him back together so the stealth range from savage gear it comes in three sizes you've got the 2000 the 4000 which is this guy here and then also one size bigger which is the 6000 now like i said before they're in the 200 dollars range so for a $200 reel, these guys are going to be an absolutely fantastic option. Well, that's the Savage Gear Stealth 4000 unboxing. Hope you've learned something. Hope it takes all the guesswork out of your next purchase. Uh, it's a pretty nice bit of kit. Catch you on the next drift. To check out the full range of Savage Gear, head to your local BCF store or go to bcf.com.au.